Hey guys, today we're going to design four vector base icons in Affinity Designer. So let's start from creating new document. So file new. Here we can adjust the size of our new document. I will change that. 256 height and 1024 pixels wide. So we can fit our four icons here. Okay, quite unusual artboard, very long, because we're going to place four icons here. So, first I'm going to start with rectangle. I will use this rectangle to divide my artboard. So, in transport panel you can see exact size of it. You can type it from the keyboard, 256 and 256. That will be like the working space for one single icon. I'm going to place it here and drag the line from the ruler panel. So place it and drag the line from here. Just drag and drop this extra guiding line. Perfect one to the middle and now I can delete this square here's my artboard and we're going to start with the main shape for the first icon I think we're going to use a classic square shape okay I will Scale it down a little bit so we got some wide space between icons. And I'm going to use round corners. So, round the corners. And let's change the solid color to gradient using gradient tool from the top to the bottom. Okay, adjust the colors over here. this tutorial is too fast for you you can always pause the video or slow down the video or maybe it's too slow so feel free to speed it up here's our first main shape I will duplicate this four times after first copy you can just simply use the shortcut ctrl J or command J on Mac just like this not in perfect positions, I will realign this a little bit using alignments at the top. Okay, better. So let's start with the first icon. We got the main shape, the gradient inside, and now we need some simple shapes inside to represent our functionality. We we'll go for start tool. Solid white color. Just three points. Now I create a duplicate of it and change the opacity to 50%, so it'll be like see through. Okay, we can see the background. That's what we want to do it here. We will mix like solid white shapes with transparent shapes. Okay. And here's our first icon. Okay, icon number two. Rectangle tool, white solid color. I will use corner tool to round the bottom corners this time, opacity 50%, main shape here, and I will try to make a little envelope, so I will need one more shape, but before that I'm going to change color of the background, this is gradient, so we set up two colors, just like this, and one more shape. This time, solid white color, flip it, 
stretched a little bit and our second icon is ready. Okay, now I'm going to repeat this process with two more icons. I'm going to speed up this video so you can see the final result. Okay, all four icons ready to explore. First, I'm going to select each icon and group them using shortcut Ctrl G. Group and one more group. You can see on the right side in the layer panel, I got four groups now. Now I'm ready to move to export persona. It is our export persona. I move back to layer panel, use selection tool going to select them all and then click create slices okay here just four new slices based on groups that we created a moment ago i can just select the first layer and just select the four slices for groups now you can select the format you like png or svg for vector output it's recommended for icons and click simply click export slices that's it i hope you learned something new today and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next time.